Hi, it's Gary DeBach in Puyallup, Washington, USA. And this is a comparison demonstration of the 3-inch baby FSL on the left and the new 2.8-inch micro FSL on the right. Um, these two are both designed to be compact and lightweight, but they had somewhat of a different design directive. Uh, this is made of Russian surplus ferrite rods and there's a rubber plumbing coupler under the rods to keep them cushioned. In addition, this 3-inch baby FSL has a rubber locking tab super glued onto the plumbing coupler with super glue around the entire ferrite rod cylinder shape. So as a result, this is slightly heavier, but it also has uh, rugged function to keep it surviving in nasty environments. Whereas the 2.8 inch baby FSL uses American made Amidon ferrite rods. There's no plumbing coupler, no super glue, and every effort was made to keep this as lightweight as possible. As a result, this model here ends up with a weight of only 1.8 pounds whereas this will have a weight of 2.4 pounds uh, performance wise i'll let you hear the difference i have a friend's fringe station selected uh, this is kona 610 in pasco washington which is off to uh, the southeast from here. So I'm going to set the FSLs off and see what I get on my stock CC Skyway. And when I'm maxing out the volume, I get nothing. So let's start off with the 3 inch baby FSL, see what it can do for it. Let me tune it a little bit better. Okay, this is a 3 inch baby FSL. Uh, boosted up a S0 signal up to about S7. And let me tune this in just one more time, get it optimized. And they've got a Seahawk game on right now. That's probably about the best I'm going to get it. So let me move this over to the 2.8 inch micro FSL. And you can hear what the uh, 2.8 inch micro FSL does for the signal. And you can form your own opinion. Here is the signal on the 2.8 inch micro FSL. And here's the 3 inch baby FSL. And once again, the stock radio. Comes up with uh, almost nothing. Let's give it another try, okay? 
I'll give it a tougher test. Uh, 790 Bellingham KGMI. So I'm going to select the frequency here. And Bellingham is north of here, about 140 miles. So I'm moving my FSLs straight north south. We'll try it off first. Try it off first with the uh, three inch baby FSL, but as you can see, this is going to be a tough one. Once again, the stock Skywave comes up with nothing. So here we go, the three inch baby FSL. I've got to tune it in, so it's going to take a second. Okay, I've got KGMI now on the 3-inch baby FSL. It's got a talk format and signal is boosted up from nothing up to about S4 on the 3-inch baby FSL. Let's try the micro FSL, the 2.8-inch now. Once again, I do have to tune it in, so it's like a process. So now you hear the signal on the 2.8 inch micro FSL. And 790K GMI is a tough fringe station here. But once again, the micro FSL gets it up to fairly readable level. So you've heard the difference. Uh, these two have close performance. You can make your own judgment. I appreciate you watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.